What's going on everyone, you're back with your boy Jono for another quick math lesson. Today we're going to learn how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numerals. These do look a little bit hard, but we're going to go through some visualizations or some real life scenarios to make this much easier. I actually guarantee you've done this in your life before, you just might not have realized. Just really quickly, we're going to go through what an improper fraction and a mixed numeral are. So in this example, I've got three chocolate bars, each of them broken into three pieces. And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna eat two whole chocolate bars and then two thirds of the last one. So that means I've eaten all of this blue, all of this blue, and all of this blue. Another way to think about that is I've eaten one whole, one whole, and then two thirds, which as a mixed numeral is two and two thirds, just written like this. But instead of doing it in whole numbers, I could say that I ate three out of three of the first, three out of three of the second, and two out of three of the third. Because these denominators are all exactly the same, this leaves me with eight over three. Both of these things are saying the exact same thing. Two and two thirds and eight over three are exactly the same. So how do I convert between these two numbers? That's what we're gonna look at in today's lesson. So what I want you to do is imagine that you're at a basketball PE lesson and you've got me instead of your actual PE teacher. We're ripping around and we've got 17 students and I'm like, okay, we need teams of five. How many teams are we gonna have? I know that you would have done this all through primary school and at high school. You're picking teams that's really, really a natural skill. So you would be able to do this pretty quickly. Oh, Jonna, it's pretty easy. We've got three teams of five and we've got two painters on the bench. So a way to think about this is I went 17 divided by five and what I was left with was three and then two remainder. If we were waiting for more people, I would say I had two fifths of that next fourth team. So I've got three full teams, three five out of fives, and then two out of five for that next team. Three and two over five becomes three two fifths. This is just a mixed numeral. So what we've done here is we've taken our 17 over five, our improper fraction, and converted it incredibly easily into a mixed numeral. And that's the skill for this whole lesson. Can I take a weird fraction, 17 over five, and turn that into a mixed number where I've got a whole number, three, and then just how many people are left over? If you can do that, you're gonna find this lesson incredibly easy. Another example is you could be playing a game where we need to be in pairs and we've got nine students and we've got to divide them into groups of two. So nine divided by two. I could go, oh, well, I'll have four full pairs, right? Four full pairs and I'll have one person left over or half of that next team ready. So nine over two becomes four and a half. That's it, that's all we've got to think about. So we don't want to think about sports teams every single time, so we do want to learn the steps to do this a little bit faster. So this example, I've got 27 over seven, and I want to convert it into a mixed numeral. The first thing we're going to do is see how many times does seven fit into 27. So what we're going to do is just the times table of the bottom number. So this is seven, 14, 21, 28. The minute that you go over, I want you to stop. So we're not thinking about that 28 at all. So all we've got to do, seven, 14, 21, seven times three. That three is the whole number that's gonna go out the front of our mixed numeral. Then all we've got to do is the remainder. So 21 to 27 is six, divided by the original denominator, which is seven. So 27 over seven becomes three, six over seven. The big skill here is doing those multiplications, seeing how many times that bottom number fits into the top and then finding the remainder really quickly. In this next example, I've got 43 over eight. So eight fits into 43 five times. Five times eight is 40. So five is the whole number that's gonna go out the front. So because I've got 41, 42, 43, three remainder, three goes over that original eight, three over eight. This is the correct answer. I've got 43 over eight is the same as five and three eights. This is all we need to do. One thing that I always look for is that the denominator in the question is the same as the denominator in the answer. Sometimes you might have to simplify, but this initial step needs to have the same denominator immediately. Once you've done that, you're pretty confident you're on the right track. The best thing about this is we can go the other way really, really quickly. This time I want you to think, hey, we've got four full teams of five people in our basketball lesson and three people on the bench or sitting out waiting their go. How many people are in the lesson? You can really quickly go, oh, well, we've got four full teams, there's 20 people, three people sitting out, 23 people in total. So what this means is that I've got four full teams or four whole teams. So the whole number of four goes out the front. 
Then I've got three over five of the next team. So my mixed numeral is four three-fifths. And what we did at the very start of the lesson, if you can think about your teacher telling us what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the 23 people that we had and divide them into groups of five. So 23 divided by five. This is the opposite way. We did improper to mixed, and now we're doing mixed to improper using the exact same scenario. And I want you to visualize that while you're doing these questions. Again, we're gonna go through an example and I want you to think about keeping the denominator the same. That's our first step. If you can do that, you're about halfway to every single question. So for this one, I've got three, five over eight. What I'm gonna do is keep the denominator the same. I'm actually gonna put this all over eight immediately. Now I've gotta multiply the denominator, that eight, by the whole number that was out the front. So that three because what I've got is three full complements of eight over eight. So if you're thinking about sport, we're looking for teams of eight. I've got three full teams of eight and there is five people left over. So that means the full teams, I've got 24 people there. Then what I'm gonna do is add the remainder. So 24 plus that five. This becomes 29 over eight and that's my final answer. I took 29 people and divided them into groups of eight. So just really quickly going through the steps, Denominator the same, denominator multiplied by the whole number, plus what's left over. So really we're just doing a times and a plus. For this last example, I've got four, six over seven. So my answer is definitely gonna be over seven. That's my first step. Then I've got to multiply the bottom by the whole number, which is equal to 28, and then plus the six at the start. 28 plus six is 34. My final answer is 34 over seven. So this is incredibly quick one multiplication, one plus. It does look really hard. We've got really weird fractions all around the place, but if you're on top of what they actually mean, the questions become quite easy. It is something that you do need to practice and you will have to be right on top of your multiplication or your times tables. If you can do that, I guarantee you're gonna find this lesson pretty easy. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you later.